It's strange to describe something capable of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.0 seconds, an 11.4 second quarter mile, and 0.95 grams of lateral acceleration as anything but sporty. This is performance vehicle of the year, after all. Those stats would seem to qualify it as a strong contender. But that they were generated by the Mercedes AMG EQS is something of a funky surprise, like watching your dog somehow paw food into their mouth using a fork and knife. Indeed, this AMG feels like little more than a more powerful version of the EQS 580, the mightiest regular EQS luxury sedan. It's all the more baffling when you consider its 751 horsepower and 752 pounds to foot of torque beat the EQS 580 by 235 horsepower and 121 pounds to foot. Peak power in the AMG is unlocked via race start launch control, the rest of the time you get 649 horsepower and 700 pounds to foot. The EQS offsets its enticing sounding AMG power upgrade with its 5,923 pound curb weight, though. So this is a 3-ton luxury pod that comes across as a 3-ton luxury pod pretty much all the time. Technical director Frank Marcus captured the feeling best in noting how the EQS just feels gigantic and somewhat lumbering. Some blame goes to the tall cowl and highish seating position, as occupants are perched atop the floor-mounted battery. And although it's highly unlikely any AMG EQS owner will ever don a helmet inside theirs, Senior Features Editor Johnny Lieberman wants them to know about the weird feeling of your helmeted head bobbling so close to a glass roof. Things go especially awry after the EQS's familiar electrified rush of acceleration tapers off and that circular thing the driver grips needs to be spun. Or, as Features Editor Scott Evans put it, the car can't turn, can't stop, can't keep from dragging its door handles on the ground. Jokes on Evans, the door handles automatically retract into the body when the EQS is in motion. More to the point, the car's suspension and brakes can't cash the checks the AMG branding is writing. The regular EQS strange self-relocating brake pedal makes an unfortunate appearance here. It automatically moves the pedal in concert with the level of electric motor energy regeneration, so when you go to press it yourself, it's already depressed to match the Regan's deceleration rate. You can turn this off by opting for zero Regan, but the less sentient pedal that remains feels remote and hard to modulate. In a rare pretty bright spot for this AMG, the steering was largely judged to be feelsome and accurate. But actions at the wheel produce roll, dive, squat, and inconsistent transitions from understeer to oversteer, that is, unless you drive the EQS-like executive editor Mac Morrison, who had a ball leveraging the AMG's colossal mass and floppy turn into drifty effect by hucking the thing into corners with no sympathy for the tires. But any car can be overdriven, and even when pushed beyond its limits, the EQS isn't satisfying, only somewhat amusing, like one of those mobilized sofas.